Okay. I didn't want to have to make this video, but it flows into exactly the type of video that I've been wanting to make for a while. And while before you start writing in the comments, I'm not actually going to start bashing rails or hot wire or anything else that's akin to this type of format because it's something that I love within Laravel. I love live wire which is basically Laravel's version of HTMX, where you're basically able to call server functions from the client without having to make those API connections by yourself. Magic happens where you're being able to call those methods, those functions from the client, but you do have to wait for the server to give you back HTML. But the reason why I want to make this video and the reason why I've had it in my list of videos to make for a while is when do you actually call server methods, and when should you actually just use JavaScript? So we're incredibly blessed in the Laravel ecosystem because the creator of Livewire, Caleb Porzio, is also the creator of Alpine.js, and they are so closely knit that there's a lot that you don't expect and don't understand actually happens within Livewire because it's actually using Alpine.js behind the scenes. But there's still ways that you have to think about how to write code when it comes to writing a Laravel application with Livewire and Alpine.js because not everything needs to grab and retrieve information from the server. Sometimes that information can be retrieved behind the scenes or maybe loaded on the first page load and then displayed to the user. So here's my video on when to use Livewire and when to use Alpine.js. Okay, so this is a very gross oversimplification of what the Hey app is trying to do, but I want to emphasize and state when should you actually use methods, Livewire methods, Livewire calls, functions that are being run on the server versus when should you use something like Alpine. Again, you don't have to use Alpine. Alpine works incredibly well within Livewire, but this is a simple way of displaying when would you want to actually wait for the server to return something versus when would you just use JavaScript on the front end? Well, let's take a look. So here we have a Livewire Volt component. This is just to show all of the logic and view on one file, so I'm not converting back and forth, but we have a button and we're saying, hey, we want to show a form. Now this could imagine this being a pop-up or imagine this being maybe a modal or a dropdown, something where you are wanting to display and then run server side information, but you aren't displaying that on page load. So how can we do this? Well, in Livewire, you could have a state that says, hey, display this form uh, if, it's, if it's true. Right here, we're saying if this display form variable is true, then we're showing this. So we're not actually rendering this until this variable is true. Well, within Livewire, this works perfectly fine. Um, if I was to click show form, we're showing the form and then we're removing it. Of course, this is what is happening behind the scenes, like in our network request. Um, if I was to click show form, we're sending a fetch request. We're getting the information back to the HTML to actually say, hey, show me this form, give me that HTML, and now it's being rendered. For example, if I was to refresh this on this page, you wouldn't be able to see there's there's nothing else. It's just this show form information. Of course, there's a bunch of wire uh, magic that's happening right here, but you can see these if block and end blocks. If I can zoom in, if block and end blocks is happening right here, that's basically saying that's where those at if and at end if blocks are within our blade syntax. We're not actually sending that HTML to the page right now until we click show form. So if I was to slow down the network, you would imagine what actually happens. So if I was to slow down the network, we'll say slow 3G. We'll go ahead and refresh just so that we know it's all happening in slow 3G. Okay, finally refresh, click show form. Nothing happens, nothing happens, and then it loads. Now, of course, there are ways to make this a little bit easier on the users. And I already have a video going over how to use optimistic UI within Laravel Livewire because we have wire colon, uh, 
loading directives where we can say when we're actually waiting for this to load, return back from the server because we're saying show form on the server, show me a loading spinner or better yet, just show the form until we're ready to go. Well, instead of having to do that, why not just use Alpine.js? So let's take a look. Okay, so how would this look like if we were to refactor this using only Alpine.js? Now we would take you, we would take the display form state. We'll move that to Alpine.js. You can put it in this X data. And then, of course, this can be done using any other client side minimal JavaScript library, but Alpine works great because it's just kind of embedded into Livewire. I'll show you why I chose Alpine specifically because of one small factor that I think is helpful to know for these full stack you know, server side versus client side interactions. So we have this X data display form is false. We're saying anytime we click this button, uh, we'll change the display form to either false or true. And then we can even show specific text of when it's not, when it's hidden, we show it when it's not hidden, we say hide form. And then we can still call these wire submits within this form. Now, one of the reasons why a lot of companies and a lot of products and probably hey does the the server side interaction where you're saying i want to have this call a server method is because maybe you're wanting to check is this person even able to open this modal is this person able to see this form or maybe when they land on this page if a specific requirements happening within this person's uh, user or their account maybe i want to show them the form dynamically i'm saying hey certain requirements happen or maybe they hit a certain page that i want to automatically show the form well we can do that we'll go ahead and see what this looks like first but that is completely possible within Alpine and within Livewire. So show form, hide form. Now, if we were to, you know, set this network to even smaller, look like it's fast 3G, we'll just set it to slow, just to show. You know, once that initial page does load, still loading, still loading, still loading, okay, it's loaded, then all of this is just client-side JavaScript. There's no network requests happening. But like I said, maybe there is that need for when the page loads, you're kind of checking something first to see, okay, should this variable be true or should this variable be false? Again, gross oversimplification of what that UI might look like, but there might come a time where you want to show a modal by default if a specific variable is true or false on the server or in that user's account. Well, Livewire and Alpine make this incredibly simple. There's this functionality called entangle and what you're saying is i want to have this display form property be linked to a state property within my live wire component so maybe display form shouldn't be false all the time and just for simplification i'll just say display form is true and right here we could you know in our 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 um our with statement this is basically saying when the form is rendered i want to or we could even do in our mount this is saying when the form or when this component is mounted i want to set display form to true based on some variables of course you can do that but we'll just say it's true how do we get this changed well we can do something like this display form is wire dot entangle and then we can just say we want to entangle the display form variable now, by default, what this is doing, you can actually have wire.entangle.live, but default, what this is doing is it's going to entangle this when the component is loaded, when it's registered, but until you actually want to make a network request, in this case, until the form actually submits, it's just going to default to alpine.js. So we still have that functionality. Let's go ahead and refresh. Again, we're in slow 3G, pages loading, 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 and there we go. Page is loaded, slow 3G. The, the form is open because we set that in the server, hide form, show form, no network request. Isn't that great? Again, there are incredible number of ways to kind of display this and even real world, real world scenarios where you might want to run things on the server versus run things on the client. But 
my philosophy about this when it comes to using Livewire, when it comes to Alpine.js, is you use whatever you need that information from. If it's something that does need to interact with the server, well, then use this server. You don't want to use that on the client and then wait until they press a save button or something like that to actually save the data. There's a reason why we have wire loading directives to help that maybe slowness of a network seem a lot better, seem a lot faster. Again, I have a complete video talking about wire optimistic and basically how you can have optimistic UI in live wire. But if you don't necessarily need something to run on the server, in this case, showing and hiding a form or a modal or a dropdown, most of the time that variable shouldn't be decided by the server. Most of the time, you're not going to need to run some, torp some so sort of auto, uh, authorization or any kind of database query before you actually display that modal or display that form to the user. So in this case, just let it be JavaScript for right now. And then when you need to have that interactivity, well, Livewire and Alpine make it incredibly simple to blend those two and tangle those together. So use the server when you need to, use the client when you need to too. Oh,